So we've had the FRAX 1550 nanometer system for just several months. We started using it around uh, July of this year and it incorporates some of the good features of most fractional devices, that being the adjustability of the pitch between the dots, the uh, number of uh, millijoules per dot, in other words, the strength of each dot, as well as the size of the pattern as one goes back and forth over the skin. So by adjusting various parameters, it allows the operator to adjust the aggressiveness of the treatment from being very light treatment with very little pain management, just using a cold air machine, or doing a relatively heavy treatment where there's a little bit more downtime and a little bit more anesthesia requirement. But one of the great things about this wavelength, 1550 nanometers, is it because it's a non-ablative wavelength, and that means there's very little downtime, meaning there's no open wound. And some of the indications for the device are the most common things people present with. Uh, pigment dystromia, acne scars, photo damage, fine lines, and like most fractional devices, one of the big advantages of all fractional devices is the ability to use these devices off the face. The other nice thing about uh, the 1550 nanometer FRAX device is the ease of use of the handpiece. The handpiece is light, it's ergonomically friendly, and it will lay down the pulses both in the positive direction and the negative direction, meaning you can go back and forth without changing and going to an adjacent spot and lay down two passes relatively contiguously and the vision is very easy, your vision is not obscured as you use the device, which is very nice. Now what really makes this fractional laser even better is you can combine it now with the new Nordless system, which is the new int intense pulse light platform by Ellipse. The older platform was good, but the newer platform incorporates some changes that make it even better. Uh, the ability to uh, move the device much more easily, the ability to change hand pieces much more quickly, and it has a much more powerful uh, platform as far as the VL handpiece and the PR handpiece, which allows one to take the pulse duration down very short for diffuse redness, which is oftentimes seen in rosacea and port wine stains. But one, one thing I really enjoy about the Norlis device is the accessory tray. Believe it or not, having a tray to put things on is one thing that oftentimes is left out in the design process with most devices. But this device has a tray you can put gel, at which will hold it right there in place until you need to use it. it has a place to put goggles. So those are some of the ergonomic features of the device, which I think make it one of the best devices as far as ease of use of the operator.